great leadership, there's great trust in the coaches, and um, there's great challenges by all the other great sensors that are here. So it's kind of a, a, a perfect recipe. I think what sets Jed and I apart from the other high-level coaches in the country is that we're both American, and we know what it's like to grow up in the United States you know, as a young fencer. I think the sport really attracts people who like both an individual attention with the coach as well as a group kind of setting. I came with my cousins. I, I saw our friends. It seemed like a really nice sport. So I just tried for a few a really beginner class is finding a really nice balance between fun and work. I find the best way to do it is uh, to get them to have fun and learn something, but they don't really realize it. You know, you make it a game. So when I started playing here, I realized that it was a bit more organized. They thought that it'd be really hard to like, fend somebody while holding a treasure chest. So I realized that I didn't have to do that. So it was really fun at first, and it still is. For the most part, every kid that comes, they come back and they have a good time. Like that. Make new friends. Love new friends. Kind of fun, and you do the same thing, and you get better at it. I'm tired at the end, but I like it. In our more advanced classes, we start to get a bit more serious in the sense that we really pay attention to how healthy and uh, how both strong and flexible our athletes are. We're using a lot of stuff like kettlebells and clubs to help us keep our body in shape and strong. I'm not the most flexible person, so a lot of the stretchings help. We have not just like focused on fencing, we have broadened it out to like different areas. Foil class and epic class are pretty similar. We're doing a lot of drill exercises which has helped to develop technique and tactic as a technical sport. Fencing, the more you get to the sport, the more you're getting back. When you see the kids out here fencing at Empire United, you'll see eight-year-olds fencing with 18-year-olds. You won't see anyone turning away another fencer. Uh, the way that this place works is that everybody fences everyone else so that it benefits the entire club. It's like a healthy, healthy spirit, you know, everybody wants to try to do better, and so that makes me want to do better as well. In fencing, because it requires different attributes, pretty much any person can become a good level fencer. I can fence guys who are older than me, stronger than me, but still beat them because it's a mental game as well as a physical game. Combining those aspects, it's really satisfying to train and then also compete. That's one thing that's nice is when you have uh, such a variety of skill levels and these younger kids can kind of see what it's supposed to look like. It puts them on this track towards getting to a higher level. A lot of them have been on national teams or won national championship events. And then now the next step for us is to try to develop a stronger youth program, possibly an adult recreational program as well. I like watching the, the kid develop from you know, when I, they first get in front of me, somebody who's not very coordinated, maybe lacking a little confidence. Day after day, month after month, they start to grow and get a little stronger and a little bit more confident. Everybody very friendly and helpful. Uh, I, uh, I couldn't really find any place better than Empire. <laughs> I love this club. I <laughs> love my students. I hope they like me too. Enjoy the sport. Let it be your child's thing. Go do it. Go try it. And like, don't be afraid to fence anyone. There's like no other place where the environment is not only intense, not only you know, you're not going to ever be here and not be working hard, and that's what you want to have at any place that you're trying to learn more in a sport. But also, you're at a place where it's, you know, it is, it's a team. 